Welcome to Let Us Reason Together. It's good to be with you and we'd like to invite you to join us as we go through some of the very interesting topics in the Bible. And we're just going to introduce our topic for today, but let me just uh, welcome uh, my two esteemed friends and colleagues, uh, the experts uh, with us <laughs> around this table. Uh, Pastor Mwemba and Pastor Luponda. I'm Pastor Papa, by the way. And uh, let's, let's, let's reflect together. Let's, let's, where are we going today? Uh, in, our, in, our, in our discussion. Well, today we discuss, is Christianity a Western religion? Oh, whoa, whoa. That's a very serious question. Especially these oh, days, yes. uh, as people are trying to reject it. It's like, it's not ours, it's Western. Yeah, yeah. There, is, there, is, there is a noticeable migration yes. from Westernization yes. to ethnicity. Yes. I want to be Sometimes I laugh. what I believe. Sometimes I laugh when yeah. they say, is, is this thing Western? As, as if, if you say yes, then, yeah. then let's get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> and I say, what else are you going to get rid of? <laughs> yeah. So there is that migration. And, yeah. and, and we want to discuss, maybe let me read into the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm reading Acts chapter 11. Acts chapter 11 and verse 25 to 25 and 26. And he left for Tarsus to look for Saul. Mm. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. And it came about that for an entire year, they met with the church mm -hmm. and taught considerable numbers. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Antioch. Now, I'm, I'm trying to pick here already the principle or the... Yeah, the theme of association. Mm -hmm. When they looked at them, when they listened to them talk, mm -hmm. and then they, they wanted to describe them, mm -hmm. and they said, no, man, these are Christians. Mm -hmm. They are associated with the name of Christ, Christ from the teaching. The interesting thing about that is that mm -hmm. they're, not being, they're not being described by their ethnicity. No. Because Antioch is not in Israel. No. They're not being described by their ethnicity. But it is not in Europe either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. They're not being described by their ethnicity, their tribe. They're being described by, their, by their, the content of their message. Of, of the message. Of the message. They're being mm -hmm. described by their, belief, by their belief system. That's right. They're being called Christians. And yes. the person they follow. They and the person yeah. they, they follow, follow. yes, yeah. yes. So, so, so we're picking association there. But maybe let, let's, let's, let's retract our steps mm -hmm. and look at what we mean by Western. Western. Because the question is, is Christianity a Western religion? When you go to the Bible, yeah. they would not use the word Western. Yeah. They would use the word Gentile. Gentile. Yes. Yeah. Because, because what, what today we call Western, yes. in those days was Gentile. That's right. It was, it was the Greeks, if you were not, yeah. the Romans. And that's where the Apostle Paul was anointed and appointed. To go and preach to those to, people. To those people. So, so in biblical language, the question then would yeah. be, is Christianity, Christianity a, a Gentile, Gentile religion? religion. Okay, and the Gentiles then would have said, no, never. No, <laughs> because of the negative connotation. Also because it didn't come from them. Okay. It didn't come from them. L let's look at the word Western. Mm -hmm. when, when we talk of Western, we, we particularly talking about countries that went through a developmental process. Mm. And some of the noticeable ones are like the Renaissance. Mm -hmm. You know, these people experienced a rebirth, mm -hmm. as it were, through art, through buildings, through search for wisdom, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. philosophy, those people. And then they moved to a period what, which we call the Enlightenment, mm -hmm. the Age of Reason. Mm -hmm. These are the people who started now to say, but does God really exist? Mm -hmm. They went into science, empiricism. They became industrialized. Mm -hmm. And so we... Geographically, we're talking of Western Europe mm -hmm. and the Americas. North America. Uh, yeah, North America. Because the South is not considered uh, Western. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and North America, simply because these people who were in Western Europe are the ones who moved to. Yes. Yeah. So when we say Western, we, we're talking of Western Europe and North, North America. America. Mm -hmm. These are the people who went through that process. But, so but, the question is, is religion, or Christianity rather, is Christianity a Western religion? Before it got to them, yes. the Westerners, that's right. It was not a Western religion. When okay. Paul went to the West, that's right. They're their own religion. 
they had their own religion. Mm -hmm. And he was bringing something that they could say is a Jewish religion. But even if you were to go back to, 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 to the Jews, mm -hmm. they would not say this is <clears throat> our religion. That's because right. Jews had Judaism. So this was a, a problematic sect. This is why Jesus was crucified. It was, was part of a problematic sect. So it was not, it was not a Jewish religion because it would not be owned by the, by the high priests and the chief priests and, 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 and the scribes and the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They would not own this. So they would say, no, no, this is not, this is not our faith. It's not our faith. They so rejected it. They rejected yeah. it. So, so even among Jews, Christianity was an orphan. No That's one wanted right. it. It was not That's theirs. Right. Yeah. So when yeah. it goes to, 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 to the West, to the Gentiles, the Gentiles could have easily said, this is a Jewish thing. Okay. Even though the Jews are, they would say it because it comes to them from Jews. It's Jews who are bringing it to them. But so, so they would say, it's not, it's not our thing until they accepted it. And when they took it to the next person who may probably be an African, the African is going to do what the, 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 the Westerners yeah. did yeah. and say, this is not an African thing. It's a Western thing. Not because it originated there, but it was brought to them by the Westerners. So right through, you see what the faith being an orphan, because it no tribe or, or nationality actually says this is this is our thing in the beginning. It, it's okay. God, it, it's very interesting yeah. to, on that point mm. where there's association, mm. but the attitude that the West uh, ref, uh, 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 displayed towards it towards Christianity, the West wanted to destroy Christianity. The first 300 years yes, were, were, yes. were terrible years for yeah, Christianity. Yes. I mean, Rome, I mean, right there, I mean, in Egypt, in, mm. in Ethiopia, if you, if you look at how the persecution, Christians, they were literally trying to make sure that there mm. is no Christianity that thrives. Mm. So if, if you have the West doing everything it can to destroy Christianity, the mm. question then is, how can, can you say it's their the Western religion? religion. It's not, yeah. because yeah. it wasn't. It was threatening their own religion. Yes. And around the same time when it was, it was, it was, it was, it was being destroyed, or the West was trying to destroy it as a religion, it, it had found a home in Africa. Because they, 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 in the book of Acts, I think it's chapter, it's chapter, um, I think it's chapter, chapter eight. Nine, chapter eight. It's chapter eight. In the book of Acts, chapter eight, you, you, you see the first African being baptized the Ethiopian eunuch mm -hmm. who had gone to Jerusalem mm -hmm. to, 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 to worship. Mm -hmm. He gets baptized in chapter 8. Now you have a first Christian. You have a first Christian African in chapter 8. Mm -hmm. And in chapter 9, <clears throat> Paul gets his Damascus experience. Mm -hmm. So chronology, you find that... And Cornelius later on, Cornelius, which, which is Italian, the yes. Roman. So by the time you have Westerners being baptized into the faith, there is already an, an African minister of finance who's already being baptized. Who is going home to say that the book of Isaiah, the faith we already had based on the, on mm -hmm. the Old Testament, mm -hmm. the scriptures at the time, guess what? This is the interpretation. So, so it comes through Africa, but the, the question generally flows from people not knowing that the faith, the Christianity, had, 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 had come to Africa and thrived especially in the early, 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 early centuries of Christianity. Yeah. It actually thrived. Up until the first 300 years. It thrived true. in Africa uh, and, until the, the, the Constantine, of course, embraces it. And ah, that, that takes a different yeah, we, Okay, we, we, we'll have to come yeah, back to, to Constantine. To, 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 we'll have yes. to come back to Constantine. But what we are saying is, just to wrap this, is that um, the West, Christianity had to be introduced to the West. To yes. the West. Um, at its inception, it had to be introduced to the West by the likes of Paul mm. there in Athens. Mm. We found them worshipping. He says, you guys are worshipping. Yeah. We've got this unknown know. God. So mm. he's, he's talking to mm. the Greeks. Yes, the New Testament was written in Greek, but it doesn't belong to them. Yes. All right, we are going to take a break and you don't go away. Um, this is let's, Let Us Reason Together. We are focusing on um, Christianity. Where, if Christian, is, is Christianity a Western religion? That's exactly where we are. Mm. God bless you. Welcome back to our show, Let Us Reason Together. Today we are focusing on the question, is Christianity a Western religion? Mm -hmm. Of course, we have already made the point that um, no, no, no. no. Um, Christianity had to be taken to the West. True. They embraced it. But at what point in, the, in, in our history do we get to a situation where Christianity now seems to be this uh, predominant religion of the West? 
Well, maybe if we latch on to the chronology that we have talked about, yes. we, we see we see a movement, mm. you no, know, from the Middle East yes. cradle of Christianity. Of mm -hmm. course, we are saying it was an orphan there because yes. the Jews rejected it. Yes, you know, and 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 yeah. So and and those who accepted it, they described them as a sect. Yes. Okay. So this sect grows and it goes into Antioch to the west mm -hmm. and it, it continues to move. But there is a point where there is a huge paradigm shift mm -hmm. from this point because it carried the shame you see remember christianity yes. is associated to the cross yes. or with the cross mm -hmm. where the governing or the roman world at that time okay mm -hmm. really despised a death on the cross, the cross. Mm -hmm. so there is a point where there is a paradigm shift mm -hmm. Maybe you should come in there. That point, I think, is, is Constantine. Constantine okay. is the emperor, is a Roman emperor. Yes. And, is, and, is, and we're and talking around 300, 325, and somewhere there. 3, 3, yeah. 13 when yeah. he's supposed to have been converted, and yes. which is just immediately after this big persecution uh, by Diocletian, yes. which was a pagan Rome, yes. pagan Roman uh, um, uh, emperor. Oh, yes. yes. So, so Constantine steps in, and he's like any other emperor. He's, he's fighting wars. He's yes. preoccupied with winning. But as, as, as they are persecuting Christians, there's something that is interesting about Christians is that the fact that you kill them doesn't scare others yes. not, yes. into not becoming Christians. Uh -huh. And these people are willing to die for this thing of theirs. And so this cross that they are associated with seems to have a lot of power. Now, his story, his story is that... An, he, an emphasis he, story. Mm. Yes. His yeah. story is that he had a dream, he had a vision, yes, you know, yes. and he got converted because of a vision, blah, blah, blah. He saw the cross. And so he wakes up and he decides that he's adopting Christianity. Yeah. And all of a sudden, just like that, Christianity moves from being a despised sect to a royal religion, to a Accepted royal respected yeah. legitimate yeah. religion, yes. st official state religion. That's and there's right. an interesting yeah. story that he was told that his armies need to be baptized. He said, don't worry, yeah. I'll, I'll watch them. I'll, I'll march them through the river. Through the river, and they yes. march through the river. Yeah. When they got to the other side, they said they were baptized. But <laughs> interestingly, the, the guy who was marching them through yeah. the river mm. took almost 20 or so years to be baptized. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and when he was baptized, <laughs> he even made a statement. He says, let's do away with the duplicity. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> to, to him, Christianity was a means to, to an, an end. end. Yes. And, and bringing, I mean, Rome was scattering at that yes. point. It, to bring, it, was, yeah. it was a means to, to an together, end. Yeah. And now, okay, then, then why then with this westernization approach to Christianity? I think one of the reasons is because there's that paradigm shift from dis, being, being despised, despised to a royal religion. Official, but there's yeah. another shift. Mm -hmm. When protest protestantism mm -hmm. kicks in yes because that's what glorifies the americas yes yeah that's the cradle but before of the but protestant before, before religion. protestantism kicks yes. in yes what happens is that after after the church becomes official yes and becomes prominent during the roman empire yes it it then assumes the position of, of legitimizing kings yes, and yes, queens. Yes, yes, yes. And they, they, they get the divine right to rule from the church. That's right. You need and, to be blessed. You have to be blessed yes. by, by, by the church yes. for, you to be, for you to be able to rule. Which meant that this now became an official religion, not just in Rome, but in the different kingdoms, kingdoms. that had Christians where the church had influence. So when the people in those kingdoms moved to, to other parts of the world, yes. they moved with this official religion. And this, now, when it's an official religion, you do associate it with the state that brings it to you. So if, if, if the French bring Christianity to the colony, that's right, then Christianity becomes a, a French, French religion. Product. Yes, if the English or the British bring it Is to their colony. Is that why we say French fries? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't put it. <laughs> Finish up that point because I want to bring something else that is... Um, when uh, when the British to bring them, yeah. it to the colony, it becomes a state religion. And understandably, the people who then received it from colonial powers, That's for right. them, yes. it was a Western religion because it was an official religion that carried the weight of the crown. Is, is that why people swear with the Bible? When they enter public office, oh, of course, remember, yes. remember, remember, Christianity uh, uh, assumed Christendom. Yes. In other words, now it is it is it's a link to kingdom. A kingdom. And, and and here's a point that there's a dome in it. Here's mm. a point that our viewers, I don't want you to miss this point. This yeah. is just just for you. <laughs> I'm just going to now talk to you. The, the, the 
main aim, when, when Christianity was adopted, when it was embraced mm -hmm. by the West, the intention, if you look at the Bible, was to destroy it. Mm -hmm. Because the moment Christianity was now in the palace, then, they, they, then now, instead of evangelizing, instead of, instead of reflecting Christ, then they were actually killing those who were not Christians. Then it was the other way around. Now you brought in the Protestants. The Protestants had a problem with that Christianity. Yes, mm. yes. That's yes. why they ran away from yes. that and said, there's no way we're going to follow this. Mm. The real aim when Christianity was embraced, it was to actually destroy it. If you read the book, Great Controversy, mm. it says it, the, the persecution, actually purified Christianity. Yes. There were, there, yes. There were no hypocrites during yes. persecution. Yes. Yes. You but can't what, be a hypocrite. What almost <laughs> destroyed Christianity <laughs> was this thing of adopting it. And, and so we're, we're now, now we had soldiers, we had police who would make sure that the pagan temples are destroyed. They are forced to be baptized. That's the quickest way actually, of destroying Christianity. it was not only adopting it, it mm. was also adapting it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because the... the of course, uh, which, which means yeah, paganizing to, it. Paganizing it. Yeah. Let it suit us. Because it, it, take, it, took, it took on a political office. And when you take up on a political yes, office, yes. You, are, you are now concerned with stability. That's right. Uh, because you'll find that the church there was able to levy a tax of 10% and it was called a tithe. That's right. And so, uh, of course, they were corrupting what was in the Bible. Now, you, when you're concerned with stability, you, you then find ways of, of keeping certain practices That's and right. just baptizing them, giving them yeah. Christian names. Yeah. You know, you keep certain practices that should have been, that would have been changed. But simply because you're concerned with stability, you're now part of governing. So you can't just disrupt people's long-held traditions. And that's part of what diluted Christianity. Isn't it where we also get the notion that when it was adopted and adapted... Mm. By the state. By the state. Mm. And the state started funding the church. Of yes. course. And the church began to rise above mm. the state. To, legitim to a to, point to, where to it legitimizes those who sit in, in the, the public state. office. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could it be also the point where the church also rose above the Bible? Yes, above the church the Bible. did. Because it started coming up with laws you and know? belief systems that cannot really be traced in the Bible. But they were necessary for governance purposes. For governance purposes. Yes. Necessary for governance purposes. Well, what we are saying, I don't know just to overlook that, because we, 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 just to put emphasis, most of the heretical uh, movements and teachings yes. come uh, emanate uh, original from that context, from mm. that period, mm. where that paganization yeah, of exactly. Christianity, yes. exactly. all yeah. kinds of things that we'll talk about some of them, and that have continued to be a problem. Hence the need uh, for reformation, yes. to reform to, that yes. Christianity, to say yes. we want a purer Christianity. But the question is, how pure is it going to be? Even those who move away and say want to purify it, did they not also have some vestiges of impurity from the previous one? So which means now the Protestants themselves and their understanding could also be another question. But yes. on that point, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we've got ladies here who are, who are part of this discussion. It's not from, from home. Uh, from, from home. home. So this is not just a, Because I was a afraid you were thing. making a statement. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we're going to take a break. Don't go anywhere. Uh, uh, <laughs> let us reason together. Um, let's let's meet again in the mm -hmm. next few seconds. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. The show is Let Us Reason Together. Uh, we are on this topic: Is Christianity a Western religion? Yeah. So, okay, now we 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 we've spoken about the issue of association, Pastor Mwemba. Mm -hmm. Yes. That just because the those who came to Africa or to Asia, to Japan or wherever, those missionaries were coming from the West. So, and and those uh, contexts, like it was also with them, had their own religion. Obviously, this is a Western thing coming yes, from the yes, West. Yes. Others call it the white men's religion yes, and, yes, and all yes. of that. So there's that association, but there's something also that which we've, we've touched on in previous shows that even those who brought it carried this idea that it's ours. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So, so that you must behave like ours. Yes. So what we are doing is not like, so, so they also uh, uh, perpetuated the myth that this is our religion. You, you can't actually leave L-I-V-E. You can't leave Christianity if you don't own it. That is true. Yeah. You have to own it. You have to, it yeah. has to be part of you. But let me look at four things that I think are challenging in the process of uh, the movement of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Christianity itself. Number one is interpretation. Mm -hmm. Interpretation is what has gradually 
slightly distorted. Why? Because there's always a challenge of what it meant and what it, it means. means. Yes. That challenge is a big chasm. Mm -hmm. Now, those who have carried the gospel, they've always struggled as to what it meant and what it means. Now, remember, when you look at postmodernism, we are far removed from, from, the, from the credo uh, of the faith. Of the faith. Yes. Far removed. We are not even third party. No. We are whatever party we are. Mm. So we have a challenge as to what did it actually mean? Mm -hmm. As to what it means. So there's a challenge of interpretation. Then there is a challenge quickly. Before you move on there, yes. I think generally there are things that we tend to think that are, are obvious. Mm -hmm. The Bible will, will say, for example, uh, uh, on honor your father and mother. Now, now your culture is going to inform what to honor means. Yes. Uh, when, when it says love your wife as Christ loves the church, yes. the word love yes. is informed by your culture. By your culture. What, 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 uh, what does love mean in your mm, culture? In your and, culture. And you, may think, and you may think that what, 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 what love means in your culture is obvious. You're like, it's obvious. Yeah. Of course, what culture it, what is it, obvious. It's what, like what everybody's it supposed to, me to do this. Yeah. obviously means mm. the same to everybody. No. That, that's what you think. And so when you bring it, <laughs> when you the interpretation it, you're saying yes. is, when you're going to stand up and preach about love. Mm -hmm. And then you, make your, then, you do your, uh, you, then you come up with an illustration. Yes. For example, you do this. this yeah. And then that becomes the absolute. Uh, 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 absolute. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so that's challenge number one. Challenge number two is what we may call indigenization. Mm. You know, when you, when you come to a people, you find what we call the indigenous mm -hmm. or the natives. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, usually, the proclaimer of the gospel makes all attempts mm. to try and indigenize this thing so that it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. And in that process, this person will subconsciously okay. begin to edit certain aspects of the faith. Of the faith. To make it acceptable. To make it acceptable. Yes. And, and then, of course, enculturation. Mm -hmm. These people have practiced a particular culture. Mm -hmm. And you want now to context the meaning you have saying mm. love mm -hmm. you want you want it to be understood in their culture to grow with to uh, grow yeah. with them yeah. but the the most critical one is the aspect of association mm -hmm. association when you have left after preaching to them mm. how will they identify this thing mm -hmm. what is it what is it and they will call it they will label it by the person who brought it exactly to. They were labeled by the person who brought it. You know, you know, in, in my in my in my in my culture. Hence Western <laughs> mm. concept. True. In my culture, there's a dress, uh, an outfit that is worn by 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 brides. Yes. We call it a Majarman. Yeah. <laughs> now historically I'm a German. <laughs> now historically But the women are not German. <laughs> no, the women are not German. <laughs> but but historically King Sahili saw, saw saw German women wearing it. Yes. And he liked it. Yes. And he and he wanted it for for Tosa, for Tosa women. Yeah. But but because the dress itself came from the came Germans. Came from the German. They called it by the German I'm a German. Yeah. To, even today. Yeah. That outfit is still called I'm a German. <laughs> Why? Because of where it came from. Even though the people who are wearing it today are not Germans. Yes. It's the association you're talking about. But, but that dress, mm. its quality, yes. its beauty, mm -hmm. has, it, it remains like that. Essentially, it's beautiful. That's why they like it. But the function is different. Yes. Interestingly, because yes. the Germans were not using it for brides. For, for, for brides. They were not using it for, for, for women who, who just yeah. got that, married. That's the interesting part. <laughs> because now, even though it originates from Germany, yes. now they've contextualized it. Yes. It has been somehow inculturated. It's now they've, ours. They've, they've moved yes. beyond association. It's ours. And that's exactly what we hope to see with Christianity. Mm. That once it, it, the, Western, the Western missionaries will bring it, mm. once we begin to understand it, there's nothing that stops us from seeing it as African Christian. And making it ours. Yeah, and making it ours. Yes. In many ways, in how we approach God, in how we worship God, mm. so that even the, 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 the Westerners says, wow, we, we never looked at it, we never saw it that way. In other words, I think you made a point that until you own it, it cannot be yours. It, it cannot be yours. It. It, if, if it's in Japan, it will be Japanese Christianity to be yes. expressed in the Japanese context, yes. the Jewish Christianity mm. and all of that. So, so there is no one um, um, race, if you please, or no one geographical, whatever, yes. that can say this is ours. Yeah, remember the Bereans, it came to them. Yes. But there was a verification process. Yes. Now, th th the challenge could be we could be mischievous and say, because it came 
from the West. Mm. It's none of us. We have yes. nothing. That's mischief. Mm -hmm. That's mischief. That, that's actually mischief that's laziness because you are refusing to get to the bottom of this thing. Yes. You are being reactionary. Mm. In other words, you are, you are branding it mm -hmm. in a wrong way. Just like if you as an individual, you get a message, you carry a message, and you say, guys, this is what it is. Like, mm. It will be mischievous for the recipients mm. to begin to reject it just because it was brought by, by you. you. True. So when we talk about Christianity, we have a responsibility because fortunately, Christianity comes with a document, yes. a point of reference. reference. Which allows us to look at what what the the messenger said and exactly. did and evaluate it yes. and say which part of what the messenger said and did is part of the faith. So you are, you are basically saying thank you for the Bible. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for the Bible. Yeah. Thank you yes. for the Bible yeah. because the Bible allows you now to go back and say back. the missionary was wrong yeah. here. Yeah. The missionary was wrong here. Yes. This is this is not necessary. It becomes African now. It Once becomes African. Once you yeah. say yes. It becomes, it becomes <laughs> African. It becomes Asian. It becomes whatever. It, the, the eyes that are, are, are looking at it. So if you want to start a movement, mm. don't start a movement of rejection. Yes. Start a movement of verification. Yes. Amen. Amen. I say amen on that point. <laughs> yeah. John 3.16, that's yes. the text we want to um, um, live in our minds. For God so loved the world. The world. Yes. The world. Not just the Western world, in, not just the in, whole in the world, world, including Africa, yeah. including uh, Jamaica, including yeah. Australia. Yeah. And, and we live on that one. That's the yeah. gospel. Including Zambia too. <laughs> Zambia is included. <laughs> God bless you. Um, thank you for sitting with us on this table and we love you. Uh, remember the show is Let Us Reason Together. Uh, we were looking at is Christianity a Western religion. Until next time, uh, God bless you. Engage with us. You've got the details there. Uh, God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>